Hey everyone, this is Matt and thanks again for joining me. On this episode of Carving a Wooden Lighthouse, we're going to carve in the light itself. For the first portion of the video, I'm going to use my wife's help to try to show you guys the details of how to hollow out this light. I'm choosing this method since I'm focusing on only using non-power tools. However, in theory you could also use a small drill bit and drill it out around the light as well. But for now, let's try to do it with the old knife. To start with, you'll want to draw in your windows I had shown in the last video. If you haven't done that already, I definitely suggest you take the time to do this, as a rough sketch for the windows will help you put in the window that your light will shine through. Just take your knife and carve in some stop cuts. From there, it's just a matter of very carefully cutting away into the wood. Word of warning, you definitely want to have an extremely sharp knife for this part. Alright, what I've been doing up until this point is I'm trying to cut out the roof of the lighthouse, the lighthouse light. And so I'm trying to leave like a little, almost like a ball down on the floor of the light. And that of course is going to be the light itself. And what I'm doing here is I just continue to gouge away at that top side of the light. And I'm just trying to cut each, each window, I'm just taking little bits of wood out and trying to gouge my way in and uh, pretty soon I'm going to switch to my Drake number 11 gouge or what you see right here and then I really start to cut my way in it's not long before all of a sudden I'm poking through and so what I want to do is I want to carry that same thing out to every corner and so I want to see a light on every single window so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to my X-Acto knife set that I just recently bought and going to attach the little skew gouge uh, blade that comes with it. And I'm just trying to push push out all the top 
junk off of the off of the light and try to create a little bit more separation all around where that light's going to be. Alright, so the tools I've been using up until this point have been primarily focused on my Drake detailing knife. This uh, Drake number 11 gouge that you see right here. Uh, as well as a two cherries sort of, uh, I think it's a one millimeter. This, this one as you see right here, this is a one millimeter chisel that they have. Alright, now you can kind of see a little bit of the detail behind what I'm working on. Just still trying to separate the columns of the light to from the light itself and just keep pushing away that material trying to create a sort of cylindrical cylindrical light on the inside there just constantly pushing the material away I apologize for this being such a long video it's normally I think this might be one of the longest ones we've had so far but uh, working on this light was pretty time consuming and I wanted to at least try and capture most of it for you guys um, be sure to tune in tomorrow we're going to try and finish up all of the detail work for this piece and I believe that tomorrow will mark the end of the carving aspects of this project so be sure to tune in and check it out I hope you guys are liking what we're working on so far and I hope you're enjoying the videos if you are please like subscribe come back I really appreciate your support <clears throat> and I hope to see you guys again tomorrow now as we bring this to a close I'll finish with uh, the detailed video here at the end that shows the separation between those columns and lights again just try and keep your light sort of cylindrical in nature and just keep the separation with those columns significant but not too much you gotta be careful because those little columns are going to be very very sensitive to any sort of force so again make sure you keep a really really sharp blade while you're doing this and guys we'll see you tomorrow have a good day